Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little collective uh, haul that I have here. It's just a few items that I purchased from Chanel during my travels. And I also picked up something from The Real Real as well as a Fashion File and Poshmark. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with what I got from Fashion File. I've already opened the box to make it easier. When you open the box, it says Fashion File and everything is wrapped up really nicely. When I opened this box, I was like, did I order a bag? Because this looks like a clutch situation going on here. Anyway. They send a nail file, which I'm going to put in my bag because it has a cover. So yeah, that's that. And then inside, we have all of this. It says, thank you from the bottom of this box. So that's cute. So taking the paper off. It has a little fashion file sticker. It's giving Chanel. <laughs> and it came with this huge dust bag. This is what made me think back and look at my transactions before I even opened the boxes. I'm like, girl, what did you buy? Look how big this is. So anyway, I ordered a pair of shades. I believe these are called the uh, Christian Dior Wild Dior. There's a little mark on the box, but who cares about the box? We're wearing the shades. So, looks like this. And again, I got this from Fashion File and it was listed as excellent condition because it was pretty much damn near brand new. As you can see, it comes with the box. It didn't come with like the ribbon or anything. And then it comes with the case. And it's just like a magnetic push closure. So I got the all black ones. And honey, honey, these are it. Like, this is exactly what I was looking for. When they said excellent condition, they were not lying. So these are super cute. And the reason why I wanted these were because of the gradient. I don't know if you can tell but it's like really dark at the top and almost clear at the bottom super cute and the thickness of of the side here it's the thickness that got me I was just like yeah I need those I, I definitely need those and the details are amazing now I do have my iPad with me so I'm going to give you all of the details about these shades and of course it comes with the certificate of authenticity from the real world so they make sure that it is authentic and you cut this off when you know that you're keeping it so don't cut this off until you inspect it now I'm gonna give you guys all the details of the shades so with these they're originally priced on bloomingdale's sunglass hud solstice and neiman marcus for 390 us dollars now looking at the dior website they're no longer up there but i did see their glasses range from about 500 to over a thousand us dollars so that is the price that I saw uh, most recently. Now on Fashion File, the price was $295. That's how much it was listed for. And that's how much I purchased it for. So I actually, you know, got a retail difference of about, what, $95? In my opinion, that's pretty good. I mean, they're shades. Most luxury brand shades run about $500, a little bit more. So I was pretty, you know, happy with this purchase. 
there's no scratches there's nothing that would make me go oh yeah girl i'm sending these back and the fact that i always lose my shades drop them destroy them step on them sit on them just girl me and shades are just i'm trying again i'm trying to build my designer shades collection but i'm scared so me getting a little discount on them makes me feel a little bit better if they end up lost or destroyed so yeah that is it for the christian and yours i will go ahead and insert a picture of how they look on me now on to the next item i have here an item from the real real now let's start let's start let's start on the real real i'm gonna need for y'all to step it up i get that a lot of the items come as is and you may not have like you know a cloth dust bag case things like that but i feel like the packaging should be a whole lot better this the way i just pulled it out the box is the way that it came the box this dust bag which I mean, compare it to the fashion file does that. Like, I can use this for an actual purse or something. Some shoes or something when I'm going on vacation or whatever. Like, this is not given. Mind you, I, I packaged this this way. It did not come wrapped up perfectly like this. I did this. It came with a little sticker, but the way they put it in this little bubble wrap, it wasn't like this. The retail price of these shades is $500. Is I believe you can only get on the resale market i have been looking for them for quite a while ever since i saw jerusha with them on i was like oh girl i gotta find them and when i was looking them up i saw the kardashians with them on and i'm like girl they sold out everywhere the kardashians have them on these i purchased for 155 so these are the andrea shades by celine and to die for these are when i saw jerusha with these on i nearly fell out of my chair these are super freaking cute they are extreme the camera is not doing it any justice they are extremely dark at the top and then this is clearer than the dior shades i would have gotten these for a lot cheaper during Christmas time, but I was doing a lot of Christmas shopping for everyone else and I felt like I had enough stuff that I purchased for myself and I was just like, yeah, no, don't get them. These same exact shades have been sitting in my favorites list on the real real since Christmas. <laughs> since Christmas. So yeah, I finally decided to give it the go ahead. I'm like, they're sitting there for me, obviously. Nobody else wants them. They're sitting there for me. And so I purchased them. Again, the retail price on these, $500. That's what I'm seeing online everywhere. Every time I click a link, it says it's no longer available. So yeah, $500 retail price when they were, you know, in store online, stuff like that. And I purchased them from the real world for $155. <sighs> Let's get into the minimalistic. Like, you're not gonna know these are Celine unless you know they are Celine. Now, pricing. If you look at them, you can see that there's a little bit of misshapen on this arm. It's a little downward. That's fine for me. That's fine for me. My ears are not in the same place on my head. So <laughs> it being a little wobbly, that's fine for me. That's that's fine. That's okay. I only paid $155 for them. And the retail price is $500. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And they're still wearable. Now, you do have Celine written right there. And you can tell. Let's see if you guys are part of the luxury scene comment down below if you can tell me what era of celine this is from and again yeah it has scratches and stuff on them they're they're pre-owned okay they're pre-owned 
I paid $155 for them. Comment down below and let me know exactly who designed these and when, okay? And I'll give you a hint. She's back. She's officially back. And that's one of the reasons why I was like, I, I need these. I need these. I'm going to show you a comparison between these and the um, Dior because you can probably see it now. Ignore my, my boxes in the background. I, I shop too much. Um, let me just show you the difference. Look at the gradient. I know you guys can see that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You see how the Dior's, which are at the bottom, go from like dark to like a gray, like a very light gray where you can like see through it well. And then you have the Celine, which is like dark at the top and then bam, see through at the bottom. Like these, like this is what I want. These are great, okay? I wanted these, okay? I needed these. These I needed. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. So yeah. On to what I got from Poshmark. So as you can see, the Dior came with the pouch. It came with the case. It did not, from what I understand. Oh no, actually, yeah, it did. It came with, I didn't even know. I just looked inside the, the thing. It came with the Dior uh, cloth. It came with everything from Fashion File. I feel like they take things to sell that comes with the whole shebang, like straight out of the boutique, the whole shebang. So box, case, duster, cloth in there. And then from the real, real, I just got the shades. <laughs> just just the shades but it's fine because your girl shops too much so let me put y'all on if you do purchase from the real real now this is my opinion this is from what i heard there's no truth or anything like that to this i have no facts for for this statement okay what i heard was the real real don't always be selling the real real how i know these are the real real is because i've done my research all right so there are ways that you can tell by you know these numbers and everything on the inside uh whether they are real or not and that's you know with luxury items oh and i forgot to say it also comes with one of those take this off and you own it kind of thing but when I purchased these it was like final sale and I can't return it but if I wanted to pretty much send it back to the reroll it'll be me selling them on their website pretty much so let's move right along I went and took my fine behind over to Poshmark because you know the girlies like myself we shop too much and some of us have sunglass cases from our favorite brands. So you might have walked into Louis or Chanel or Dior or Celine or Gucci and decided I'm going to pick up an eyeglass case, a cute one, something fashionable. That's when I'm going to put my shades in. Each time I'm going to be wearing shades, I'm just going to throw my shades of the day in the glasses case that I purchased, right? So most times people will be like, well, you know what? I don't need the box. I don't need the duster. I don't need the case. So I'm just going to sell it because somebody out there might have lost theirs or might need theirs because they want to uh, resell them or they want to gift them to someone. In comes Poshmark. So I went on Poshmark and bought an authentic Celine Paris box. Now, I'm going to show you the box. You tell me between the shades and that sign right there, the difference. If you ain't catch it, rewind it because 
there you have it. These are new compared to the shades. And you can tell that by the uh, writing here. So they sent the box as well as the eyeglass case. And inside the eyeglass case, you can tell this person just purchased shades and just was like, I have my own um, eyeglass uh, case that I use. So I'm not even gonna touch this stuff. Paper comes in it and the duster. Like, so yeah, just gonna pop those babies in there and boom, she ready to go. She ready to go. So again, if you purchase from the real world or any consignment shop for any brand that you're looking for, check Etsy. Beware of Etsy because people be making stuff. People make stuff on Poshmark too, but I trust Poshmark more than I trust Etsy when it comes to designer items and purchasing things like this. So again, it's an eyeglass holder. So does it really matter if it's not real no am i gonna run around and go to celine stores to find out if this is hell no I, look okay i purchased it and i think i paid like maybe 30 bucks for it so it, it is it is what it is if it's not legit celine then to hell with it i just wanted a case to match my shades that my shades can actually fit in because these are kind of on the bigger side so boom fits right in there so yeah, that is the story behind these shades, which is why I wanted to save them for last. So now that I've gotten that out of the way and this is unboxed, I'm just gonna open this. It's right in here. And bam. Yeah, I trust Poshmark because I've done this before. I also purchase things from the Real Real and other consignment shops that just came with the item and not the you know, bits and bobs, the box and, you know, all of that stuff. And yeah, went on Poshmark, someone was selling it and boom. Chanel -y. Chanel unboxing. This is a true unboxing. I purchased this and it's was it last month? No, the beginning of this month, and it's been in here since. So, I have two receipts. Mind your business. <laughs> I have two receipts in there. Um, I have three, yeah, three items in here that I purchased. I have two of the Chanel Chance I have the, mm, what is this, oh, the, puff, um, the regular Chanel Chance. I don't know how I feel about that scent yet. And then I have the Chanel Chance Oufre, which is the green one. Don't know how I feel about that yet. I just realized maybe I should smell these. I'm just gonna spray the, what is this? Ooh, fresh. I think I smelled this before in Nordstrom. So I'm just gonna stick that over there. Then I'm gonna spray this one. This one is just a regular Chance Chanel Eau de Parfum. So let's see, this has dried down a little. This is the Oufraish. It's giving green apple and flowers. It's okay, it's a soft scent. And I feel like it could be an everyday scent. That's fine. This one, which is just a regular chance. Ooh, that's giving, um, damn. What is the name of it? Oh, mm. It's a men's cologne. Yes, I said it smells like a men's cologne. I can smell it and I can see the bottle, but I can't, I can't pin it right now. Let me look it up. It smells like Calvin Klein Obsession. 
I'm not even gonna lie. It's a little bit softer, but that's obsession. Chanel, you tried it. I have the pink one. Love it. I purchased the boy, the Chanel. This is pretty much a lip balm. Yes, I purchased the Chanel lip balm. I believe this one is geared towards men. It's about $10 cheaper than the one that's geared towards women. It's like black with the gold trimmings on it. But that one is glossy. And this one is not. This one is like matte. And I felt like this would be better because I have lip glosses. I wanted a lip balm. <laughs> So if I want my lips to be glossy, I'll just put on my lip gloss, my moisturizing lip glosses. I have a few from MAC that I enjoy. So yeah, I was like, ah, I'll go with the one that's geared towards men. She kind of looked at me kind of strange, but girl, it's my money. So yeah, that's how that looks. It doesn't really say anything on the bottom, just Boy de Chanel Lip Balm 001. So I got that. Can't remember the price, but I'll go ahead and insert the little clip things. Next thing I got, number five, Lou. I failed French second semester, so calm down. Chanel Paris on hand cream, which I need a little bit. So this one is just their hand cream that everyone has i just wanted to be a part of the trend <laughs> i'm not even gonna hold you i just wanted to be a part of it all and i got the one that smells like chanel number no. five because it doesn't smell like chanel number no. five now if you've smelled chanel number no. five chanel number no. five smells a little mature right this gives baby powder it's very egg. <laughs> like you, I'm pretty sure you can hear it, but it's a very, very matte uh, bottle. Can you call this bottle? But uh, yeah, so the top just comes off like this. You can try to pull it off. Oh, oh God. But I prefer twisting it. It's just easier for me. And it has like a little slit there. Not even gonna tell you what that looks like to me. Um, and then you just squeeze it. It's very soft only in the back here. So you see? And here it's like hard, you can't. So your thumb pretty much does the work. And it just squeezes out. This was expensive, so I'm not gonna use a lot. And it smells like a perfumey baby powder to me. It just, it's, it doesn't give Chanel number five. And it's funny because when I was in the store, I think the girl that was helping me was new. She actually had never smelled this one before. And she smelled it and she's like, yeah, it smells really good. It's really soft. It's really powdery. It does not smell like Chanel number no. five. And then I went to the counter. I sprayed the Chanel number no. five and I'm like, girl, these are two different scents. <laughs> so lastly, I have the Chanel Double Facets Mirror. I'm not even going to try to say mirror in French. This is the Chanel Double Facets Mirror again. Jerusha got me. She's doing a giveaway of these. She always has them in her bags or always has it. I don't know how many she has, but yeah. I was just like, I need that mirror. I need that mirror. I love double mirrors because, you know, you have the regular side, you have the magnified side, and this hand cream smells so good. So the little dust cloth has the CC on the front, nothing on the back. This is very very soft, very velour, velvety type feel. Like how the uh, baby fat outfits in the early 2000s felt. 
take off the duster. That's what it looks like. CC. And when you open it. Now I'm gonna, don't come for me, okay? This is about $45, $50. Again, I'll just insert. This is the cheapest thing I've ever felt in my life. I have a Michael Kors one and girl, I have to go get my cosmetic pouch out my bag because I have the Michael Kors one. And as you can see, she is beat up, toe up. It was all a gold color and it's all worn. This is metal. This is, I've, look at it dropped it slid across floors just oh this baby has been through it all has a cute little push and open and it has the magnifying part and then the part that's not magnified and this is quality like it's heavy this this baby ain't going nowhere and this is just the most flimsiest plastic like if i drop this it's over for my little 50 dollars it's over like this feels like a child's toy like you know how you get kids the makeup and everything that's not real that's exactly what this feels like this is giving if I sit on it, if I close it too hard, if it pushes up against anything in my bag, it's it's finna crack and my $50 is gone. I'm so ready to take this back. <laughs> it I should have felt it in the store, but I know you can hear it. Like it's creaking. It sounds like the screw in the back is loose. Like It's just, look at it. It's just not secure at all. It's just not, I know y'all can hear it. It's annoying to me, but anyway, it has the magnifying side and the side that's not magnifying. And yeah, it's just, take my advice, pass, hard pass, hard pass, because I'm thinking about taking it back. I'm thinking about taking it back. I should have felt it in the store. I should have felt it in the store. Like, hard pass on that. $50 and it's just trash. Like, it just, I know for sure. Like I said, with my shades, the way I dropped them and everything, I know for sure. Look at this. Just look at this, for instance. I've had this for years, but look at it. Scratches, scrapes. I done dropped this. I dropped it so much that the sides aren't even flush together anymore. It's a little link to the side. Look at it. You think that mirror is going to last the way this did? I don't know if you can purchase this still, but I would say go for this because I, I kid you not, it was probably cheaper. Baby. Chanel them. Pissed me off with that goddamn mirror. Pissed me all the way off. But anyway, that was my little haul from Chanel and Poshmark, The Real Real and Fashion File. Again, I'll say it. I would rather you shop at Fashion File than The Real Real. Just my opinion. It is my opinion. Do not come for me. It's my opinion from what I've experienced, what I've heard, what I've seen, what people have told me, Fashion File is better. Like, I mean, you saw the packaging. They give you an extra little gift. I mean, it's a nail file, but it's cute. You know, everything came in the package, the box, the duster, the case. And then with the real real, I only got the shades. And yes, I knew what I was getting into. As you can see, the price difference. I knew what I was getting into. I read the description. I knew what I was getting, but I just feel like the packaging could have been a little better because even when you go to places for eyewear, whether it's prescription glasses or you're just popping in to get a pair of shades, they're not name brand. They have like a little, you know, case. I mean, they couldn't have did that. Fashion File gave us a whole nail file. 
they couldn't have gave us a little, little even if the case was a little flimsy at least i could be like all right you know they gave me something they just bubble wrapped that baby put it in the most cheapest dust bag and was like here you go so yeah that's that on that and thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys in my next one bye